So we've got two Sonoran Desert tortoises that came out of hibernation about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And we've been waiting for them to come back out because they we had kind of a cold spell and they went back into, I wouldn't say they're hibernating, but they went back into their caves and we didn't see them for a while. But I was just out here a few minutes ago and I noticed they were both out. And so I wanted to take them out of the cage and uh, do some measurements on them and weigh them and see how much they've grown since they started hibernating. We typically do it, I don't know, about once a month. Um, so yeah, just something fun that uh, the kids and I do. This guy right here is Luke. You can see he went tromping through the, the water bowl just a few minutes ago. That's why, that's why he's wet. There's the water bowl. And there is his sister, Leah, or Leah. So they came out today, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I think they've come out to get, grab a drink, grab a bite to eat. I've got some, some seeds, some desert seeds that I planted here under this tree that's growing. Um, so far they've left that stuff alone. Got some Bermuda grass clippings that they've munched on a little bit. And then, uh, you know, one of the favorites is, favorite weeds is spurge. And so we, that's what they were munching on just a few minutes ago. But yeah, they're out stretching their legs. Um, they hibernated, I think, since like either mid-September or beginning of October. So we haven't seen them this whole time. This is their, their outdoor enclosure. It's made of a, a gabion box with, with rocks on the inside. Got some miscellaneous plants. Got a desert willow tree in the middle that's starting to grow. They love eating the flowers off of that. But yeah, so let's let's grab Luke here. He looks like he might be going back in his cage. He's a little shy. So let me grab him before he gets back in there. And we're gonna take him inside and do some measuring. So let's put him, put him right here for just now. Hi, buddy. And then uh, let's grab Leia real quick before she disappears. They're not super fast, but if you turn your back on them for just a few minutes, they tend to run away and get back in their cave. Oops. Sorry about that. They'll lean over and catch her before she got away. But that's Leia. So we'll put her out here. A little tortoise showdown. But yeah, let's let's grab them up here. We'll take them inside and show you how we weigh them and measure them. And then uh, you know maybe I'll show you the graph of what the past measurements have been. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, decided to do this outside just for, for lighting purposes. Uh, so we got our scale out here. We've got our calipers, a pen, and then just a, a printout of the, the measurements that we've taken of, of these tortoises over the last couple years. Uh, so first up, we'll grab Luke. Remember, Luke is the, the big guy. He is coming up on four years. Oops, there he is. He's coming up on four years here in August. Uh, we adopted him in August of 2014. So we'll put him on the scale here. And as you can see, he weighs 199 grams. So let me kind of get him off the edge here so he doesn't fall off the top of this counter. So he's 199 grams. He weighed 100, looks like 191 grams uh, back in September. That's the last time we measured him before he started hibernating. Um, so let me set this camera down and I'll show you how we measure him. So if I can get this right. Uh, so first thing is we just take the, the calipers and we measure the width. 
you kind of pick the same try to pick the same point every time so you're somewhat accurate so it looks like he is about 74 and a half millimeters so I'll write that down on the paper looks like he was 73.1 millimeters the last time we measured him and then now we're going to measure uh, the top of his shell the, the carapace length and again just try to pick the same spot every time so you're your measurements are accurate and try not to stab the tortoise in the neck with the calipers. It's kind of hard. He's getting big now. He used to be a lot smaller and it was easier to, to measure him. But he looks like, I'll put him at 95.5 for his carapace length. And then we're going to flip him over and measure the bottom shell. Looks like he's got a hair stuck in his mouth. We're going to take that out later. But you just flip him over, measure the bottom part of his shell, which I've got him at 87 and a half, which he was 87.7 the last time. So, you know, there's a little bit of margin of error. Um, you know, maybe change dimensions a little bit, but close enough. He pretty much hasn't grown a whole lot since he hibernated. Take a look at them here. Looks like the camera doesn't want to focus. Okay, you can take a look at the measurements here. You can see up near the top, you know, back in September of 2014, he only weighed 23 grams, and now he weighs 199. Kind of what I've noticed is they almost double in weight um, every year that we've had them. Um, so yeah, he started at 23 grams, he's up to 199. His original width was 37 grams. He's up to 74.5 now. And then his carapace length originally was 44.1, and now he's 95.5. Um, so he's just about doubled in physical size. And then, uh, you know, he's grown about eight times in his weight, you know, from 23 grams up to almost 200 grams now. So yeah, there's Luke. We'll take care of that hair in just a minute. It's not the first time I've seen him eat a hair. It's kind of gross, but sometimes you get to pull it out. And this is Leia. So we'll pick Leia up now. It looks like our scale has turned off. We'll go ahead and turn that back on, zero it out. There you go. We'll put Leia up there. Now Leia is about a year younger than Luke. So we'll put her at 100, it looks like 139 grams. She's kind of moving off there. She's always been a little more active than Luke. And we're not sure on the sexes of them. We just kind of guessed. The kids are big fans of Star Wars, so that's why they picked Luke and Leia. But I wouldn't be surprised as if they get older, we're completely wrong with the sexes, and maybe we'll have to flip-flop their names. Where are you going? Nope, you stay right there, okay. Uh, so I think I had her at 139 grams. Uh, the last measurement was 133. So again, hasn't grown a ton, you know, since she's been hibernating. Let's see if I can position this camera again. We'll we'll do the measurements on her. Same measurements. Get that position there. So again, first we'll do the the width. And I got her at. Uh, we'll say 67.2, just kind of guesstimating. I'll measure her carapace length. I have that at right at 85. And then the plastron length. And they got her at 77 and a half. So again, some of those measurements are a little bit off. It's always a margin of error. But just like Luke, not a lot of growth uh, since hibernating. If I get the focus there, there we go. Not a lot of growth since hibernating. 
and she will be uh, three years old in uh, in October. Um, so you can see she started at 30 grams, and she's up to 139. Width started at 42.7, she's up to 67.2, and then her length 49.2 is what she started at, and now she's at 85. So yeah, she's always been a little more active than Luke. Seems like she eats quite a bit more, and it kind of shows in her growth pattern. She's grown more, um, like if you compare the graph or the uh, the data, she's done more growing than he has in the same amount of time. So maybe eventually she'll catch up in growth, even though she's about a year younger. Put him back there in the box, and then uh, let's go put him back in their tortoise enclosure. Yeah, it's just about fully shaded now. Let's see if we can't put them in. This is kind of like the desert end. Uh, it's got a little cactus right there, an aloe vera plant. It's got one burrow that they, they don't use that one, one much in the, uh, the winter. And in the summer, they, they use it every once in a while. And on this end is more the, I think the cooler end. There's a big succulent plant that I forget the name of, but it's taken over the cage or their enclosure this year. So I'll have to trim that. I've already trimmed it back like three or four times, but I have to do some more trimming on that so they have some places to roam. But you can see this other burrow over here, it's just a U-shaped pipe that's buried under some dirt and it's positioned so that, uh, you know, it's above, um, above grade. So if it gets a lot of water, rain on this side of the house, that it doesn't flood out. And then we got a Mexican petunia over here, or, or a ru ruella. They love the flowers on that. Got a little water bowl that gets fed by a dripper uh, a couple times a week. And yeah, this is it. Um, this is home for them for the last, I think, two or three years. Eventually, when they get big enough, we'll let them roam throughout the yard. You know, we don't have dogs anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. They both passed on over the last two years, so. Don't have to worry about dogs getting them. That's part of the reason why I got the the cage on top. Um, that and to keep birds out and cats and what else would want to eat a tortoise. Anyways, enough about that. Let's get them back in the enclosure. I'm sure they'll scurry off back into their burrows. Oh, we forgot about the hair, huh? So let's get Leia back in there. Right there and. Let's see if we can't get this hair out of Luke's mouth. Let's see if I can position the camera here. Oh, got part of it. Oh, I guess I'll eat the rest of it. Hopefully it comes out the other side. Okay. Get a close up of them walking. doing. She's kind of heading her way back to the burrow. Be stopping for a quick drink in the bath.
All right, so we'll let these guys get back to business as usual. I'm sure he's gonna head back to his burrow now and, and do a little sleeping after the little trek he took. But yeah, thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for joining me.